Hi Aries, this is Just with your April 23rd weekly general read. Hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Aries, congratulations, you're moving. Looks like some of you may not even realize that you are going to move, but this looks to prove positive. Now this is something that's destined and you may not see it coming, as I said, it could be a sale of your home, a purchase of a home that comes out of nowhere, just moving all together to some place that seems to prove very positive and would be a very happy and peaceful place for you. So that looks really good. But I do see also stress, anxiety, worry that could be coming out of the blue for some of you. I feel for some of you, you are more isolating yourself right now. Um, and there may be a reason for that could be a paper, something that you are concluding, you're ending one chapter. So you need the time to concentrate. I also feel for some of you, you may feel like you're not open to forgive and forget something with someone. I get water energy as well as fire, but it could, it could be any element or sign. But I feel like you need a little bit more time before you're ready to open up. There's something that has really stressed you guys out. If you are employed, Aries then it looks like congratulations some of you may be like pregnant and working on a job <laughs> that's what i see here others of you um you may get pregnant really really soon and overall it seems like you're having a really peaceful week up ahead when it comes to your workplace and it seems like there's a female um could be supervisor manager she could also be pregnant as well who seems to be a delight to work with if you are looking for work then you are going to start getting a lot of feedback. It may be a little longer before you get, um, and, and it, okay, let me say this. It could be feedback, but it could also be a lot of um, virtual interviewing is what it looks like to me. And this is not by accident. This is, this is purpose. This is what you're seeking. For some of you, you intend to work from home or you, you're seeking out more virtual um, jobs here. That's just the way that they're doing it. So I do see you're getting some communications coming to you the problem or the challenge for you might be money you want more they want to pay a little less um, and you will run for the hills if someone were to give you a lowball you like really lowball you um, so there's that but it looks like communication is coming through also if you are self-employed well do anticipate, if not now, that your side business, and you, some of you may have two or you're about to have another side business, that situation will kind of have an uptick around Gemini season all the way through to Leo season. Or you may decide to get into your business and start it and possibly with another person, bring someone else in. Um, and you kind of finalize things in Gemini season and by... Uh, Leo season is when you start to see growth and revenue from this next stream of income that you're creating. So congratulations, Aries. Uh, now let's get into, oh, I'm sorry. So this week coming, this week coming, I see someone coming straight to you that needs your help or are you going towards someone that can help you and trying to get away from someone that's that is um waiting i do see you guys trying to avoid having to make a decision you feel like you need a little bit more time you need just some time to get some help and assistance elsewhere but someone is going to need to hear from you and they're they're feeling like they can't wait much longer but they're gonna kind of have to wait because i feel like for some of you you're going to try to maneuver away from having to make a decision or give someone an answer this coming week it could all be happening in one day now let's get into love those of you who are single uh you may have a lot of options and and that doesn't seem to be a challenge but for some of you it may be that you are spreading yourself a little too thin uh, and that could be a bit of challenge like you have a lot going on right now and possibly integrating love may may just be a challenge because money may be more the focus on your mind people coming towards you have gone through it yes they've gone through it and they are problematic people <laughs> they may be very young or just immature in the way that they handle things they could be very combative um argumentative at times and it's because they've been hurt um, I don't feel like their their antics is going to affect either of you but um, just know people that are coming your way they have a story to tell and your ex wants to spend some time with you they want a little kiss a little hug <laughs> um, I do feel like you have an ex out there who wants um, to spend some time with you every single ladies 
Well, I'm looking at these cards and I'm saying there is definitely some time to get together with friends, family, go on a trip of some sort, and it may kind of come out of nowhere. But, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Airy single ladies. It looks like it's karmically designed for you when you say yes to something. Yes, I'm going to go out with my girls. Yeah, I'll go to this wedding. Yeah, I'll do like whatever you say yes that has to do with others, some type of social engagement. Love is there. And some of you are going to either meet, this could be any sign, but what I'm picking up strongly is Leo, um, Libra. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up strongly or any water sign, Scorpio, Cancer or Pisces. But again, it could be any sign. And this may not completely prove positive or develop in its wholeness until Leo season. There's something about Leo season. Like I said, things happening in Gemini season will come to its fullness in Leo season. But I, I think I've been telling you guys that and I also see that for Aries. So for you ladies here. Yeah, I see that something is coming in. When it comes to love for you guys, and it has to do with being social and getting out and spending time in a very innocent sort of way. And then kind of the energies are conspiring together to kind of bring you some form of, form of love. I also feel like for others of you ladies, if that's not the case, getting out, spending time with people and socializing is a good reprieve. But love may not be what you are so focused on. And someone is going to try to come in. It could be new, could be definitely someone from your past coming in. But I also feel that um, if it's an old person, they're going to have to clean up their act. Like you're not going to be as friendly as they think that you are. You're you're laying down the hammer. You're putting the gauntlet down. Um, and I do feel like you'll hold back. You'll hold back quite a bit. And someone's been holding back from you too. And they may this is for single Aries ladies. They may have a gripe with you. Someone has that has been holding back from you. Men. <laughs> well, <laughs> love is in your face. Love has come in so fast. For some of you, you may make amends with someone, meet someone new, and it is taking off fast. And it's that type of thing where one of your exes may say, can you believe this? We've been together for five years and now he's moving in with her. He lives with her. He's getting married to her. Like it may take you overnight to do what it took you forever to do with someone else is what it looks like to me. I see taking a trip. I see you guys doing a lot of things together and you may, you may have some type of mutual connection. Like you both have been through some type of trauma. You both um, have lost people. There's something that connects the two of you, uh, but you bond in a very loving sort of way and you're both able to kind of heal and move past whatever issues that you've had together or because you've come into each other's lives. So every single man, this looks amazing to me. It just, I just get this feeling that it may come at a shock of by someone else because you, you, you know, you may be talking to someone, everything's going great with them and it, like you're going with them and it's like, you meet this other person. It's like, Oh my God, you know what? On second thought, <laughs> I don't want you, <laughs> but I don't think that you'll give that person closure. Some of you just, just run away and disappear for quite some time, probably up and through to, to Gemini season or Leo season that you're going to have a go with this person before you go back to your other person is what it looks like to me. Couples. Well, um, let's see. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a Pisces because I got the same cards for Pisces. But nevertheless, there's a sense of having to take a step back, couples, and, and kind of evaluate where you are in your relationship. Someone may have, you know, ran amok a little too much. And it's someone, hopefully neither one of you are sick or recovering. But I do see that running around a little too much. Now someone's recovering. Excuse me, guys. If someone is recovering... I have to tell you, like if you're out of commission, you have a mate that is golden. She's going to come through or he's going to come through. They got your back. They'll handle everything and they'll do it with ease. So you do have someone who is there to really help you. Others of you, though, this may be where the two of you may be um, on break. It may have come out of nowhere. Um, it may be very difficult to get to a place of communication. Someone's ducking and dodging the other person. Um, for some of you, it may have taken a toll on you. Like, I, you know, I need a minute, you know, to try. Because now it's serious. Now you know, okay, this person isn't 
going to just forgive me that simply or it could be vice versa. But I do see someone here taking it more serious about what's going on between the two of you while the other person is really focusing on them heavy, heavy. Um, and it's almost like it's I, I get like an hourglass. OK, if someone was ca caught in third party, they're trying to convince the other person that that person meant nothing to them. Um, it was just a slip up um, and it may be difficult to get someone to forgive you if you've been doing anything unethical. It's going to be really difficult. This relationship, whatever this situation is, it's going to take a lot of work energy and time because I see your person and again it could go vice versa but I see your person focusing more on their finances their career they do really well for themselves they have a name out there um, and it's only going to get bigger they're severely concentrated on money work career that's what they're focused on and you're trying to get back into the fold again this could be vice versa but I see someone trying to get back into the other person's good graces. And we're speaking about couples and they're trying to take the slow but steady approach, which I think is very mature and smart. It would just take longer than that person is anticipating. So whoever this person is, that their um, remedy is to approach situations slow but steady. I think you're on the right track. You are on the right track. Just know that it's a process. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. And this person um, has become increasingly tired. So their focus is elsewhere and they're actually seeing results. So, you know, it's kind of like being in a gym after a while. It's like, wow, now I'm seeing it. Now you can't get, keep the person out of the gym. So this person is more focused on other things in this relationship at this time. And there's that. So that's what I have for this particular read. Um, if you're interested in the extended love portion and you want to see more about what's going on with this love reading for you couples, well, then click the link in the description box below there. You'll also find all the details to that reading. You could also find the 2021 Aries yearly reading and the link to my website says something up for yourself. Otherwise, if you are new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I'll be back very soon with another one. Take care, Aries.